whether people doubt you, whether people uh, think you're crazy, it doesn't matter. What matters most is that you follow your heart and you follow your dream and see where that takes you. So my name is Nick Humphreys, I'm 24 years old. I'm from Canberra, Australia. I'm the creator of the 100 Day Challenge. I left Australia, quit my job, left all my family and friends behind, decided to chase my dream of becoming a professional footballer in 100 days. Today, guys and girls, I'm speaking to a guy who did what a lot of you guys can only dream about. He put everything on the line to try and become a pro in 100 days. Nick from Train Effective, get in here, man. What's up, Good Jay? to see you, good yeah. having you. Welcome to the Danish cold. Now, we're gonna talk a bit about your move in order to try to become a pro in 100 days. Let's do it. But where did you play your football? Uh, football for me was always just something like fun, you know, just for fun with friends on the school ground. Um, and it wasn't until I was 16 years old where I started taking it really seriously. So I read this self-help book once and um, I stumbled on things like the 10,000 hour rule. So 10,000 hours of deliberate practice will make you world class in any field. I took this rule to heart, started training 20 hours a week, and um, I went from basically a local amateur school player to training with the Australian national team, getting yeah, scholarship offers to the US, training with lots of professional teams. So I've been on this long, long journey, uh, and it accumulated with the 100 day challenge. The first 50 days was preparation, the last 50 days was execution. So those 50, 50 first days did everything to prepare, running, fitness, one, two, three sessions a day, just doing everything I could so the end of 40, 50 days, I would have the same fitness, technique, physicality as a, as a, as a pro would or should have. Uh, the next 50 days, the last 50 days, was about the execution. It was finding trials, open trials, opportunities, using everything from uh, LinkedIn to Google searches to find tryouts, agents, everything I could. What the real first step is, what, what people don't do, is just actually take the step of deciding, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And that's the first step, me deciding that I was gonna go and do this 100 day challenge. I said, I don't wanna be 100 years old on my, on my deathbed thinking about the things that I didn't do. And that's what I wanted to be all about, just going all in into something and going with all your heart, all your might, and seeing where that takes you. I think all of us have dreams, mm -hmm. and every single, every single one of us have dreams. Mm -hmm. It's just, we don't make the decision to go do it. And that's what I wanted the 100 Day Challenge to be about. What was your goal? Of what did you kind of want to push this yeah. to? One minute of professional football. Okay. Anywhere in the world, uh -huh. didn't matter. I think what too many players do is complicate things and say, I want to play in the Premier League, uh -huh. or I want to play in a World Cup. Uh -huh. Those things are pretty daunting when you think about all the steps it takes to, to get there and all the How time it takes. How people actually get yeah. to go and play there? Go do you, go follow your heart, go follow your dreams and see where that takes you. The biggest risk is not doing it. The best experience was waking up every day with a mission and it gives you a tremendous amount of energy. The second thing I'd say is just comments uh, and not the negative comments, but the comments of people that said, hey, Nick, I watched your 100 day challenge and um, I made so-and-so team and just messages like that, messages of encouragement and support and knowing that I could inspire some people. That's, that's an amazing feeling. Okay, so you might not have made it in 100 days, mm. but you're still, you're still chasing your dream, aren't you? Yeah, it's, it's not over. And I'm trying to think about what the next step is from now, just because while in that 100 days, I saw things, saw things in football that I don't like, the, the politics, there's a lot of ego, there's a lot of uh, kind of corruption, a lot of people taking money from, from people's pockets in, a, in the most negative sense. Becoming a pro isn't just like hard work, hard work, hard work. It also takes money to start earning yeah. money. When you go all into something, you gotta go in, not just emotionally, not just physically, uh, but sometimes financially as well. And here's the thing about following your heart. I followed my heart that way, and it just, rem it just I saw more of the, the kind of negative parts of football, which I really didn't like. So with something like Train Effective, I'm really trying to bring something new and different now um, and even set up something which will give players uh, second chances or a platform to really display their skills in the most positive, genuine way. So this whole uh, experience with the 100 Day Challenge mm -hmm. um, drove you into creating Train Effective to help other people in achieving their dreams. Yep. Tell us more about it. So me growing up in Australia, I would play with a decent team. Um, Maybe I train twice a week with a volunteer coach or something like that. But 
I'd always think to myself, you know, how can I train like a professional what did, uh, was doing? And that led me to create Train Effective, where you can basically train like a professional anytime, anywhere. Um, workouts, drills, uh, tactical analysis videos, everything you basically get in a professional academy environment, online. I still see myself as a player um, that can still go far, even at my age. I still believe that I shouldn't give up. Uh, and that's what my heart says. So, we'll see. Okay guys, so the key takeaway here is that no, Nick might not have made it as a pro in 100 days, but that's not a reason to quit. You should never give up. You should keep working hard, be persistent, have patience, and who knows, it might pay off in the end. Follow your heart, see where it takes you. Exactly, and speaking about following, if you want to see more about Nick's journey, you should go give him a follow here on YouTube so you can see basically how you can train more effective in hope of becoming a professional football player. Click the button right over here. Of course, if you want to see more awesome football videos, you should do yourself a favor, subscribe to Unisport as well. Leave us a like if you had a good time and thought Nick did a good job and spread the word by sharing the video with your friends. And with that said, Nick, we're signing off. Cheerio.